And you know what? You know where it starts. It starts with thinking that things like happiness and satisfaction and love come from out there. Exactly. And they don't. You can't. You know, if you're looking for them out there, you won't find them. You'll occasionally find something that satisfies you. Occasionally find something that that you that makes you happy. You'll occasionally find something that you love, but. If you want that to last, you have to go inside. That this is where everything yep. really comes from. You're you're, yeah. you're satisfied with yourself, yeah. And 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 love and the thing that I really because um, I I have a, a couple of failed marriages behind me, and the thing that I learned over time is that um, love isn't something that happens to you. It's a choice you make. Yeah. Love is a choice, not a feeling. Lust is a feeling. Attraction is a feeling, but love is a choice. You choose to love somebody. Once you decide that they're within the ballpark <laughs> of what you're looking for, then you choose to love them and accept them for as they, uh, the way they are. And that, and if both partners are doing that, you've got, a, you've got a good relationship. But if you fall crazy in love with somebody and you marry them, and a few years later you're just kind of bored with them and you move on, that's not that you were never really in love. Sure. You're now, just writing out those feelings you had. Yeah. Sometimes you can be truly in love with somebody and they can abuse you so badly that you have to walk away. And that's fine. That sure. doesn't mean you never love that person. That just means that you're doing something better for yourself. Yeah. Um, we've all had situations like that where a partner. Yeah. Just they just treat you so badly that you're like, okay, fine. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out yeah. Here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta put yourself first, right? You can't, if you're not happy, one, if you're not happy, you can't be happy in a relationship. It's that simple. A relationship's not going to make you happy. Right. Uh, that's just in life. I mean, it's, it, it starts here. It's all the base. The foundation is here. Uh, I'm a big yeah. believer in eating right, but food is a big thing to control your body as well. You know, yeah. think about eating some, you know, some shitty stuff. And what does that do to your body and your mental state afterward? I mean, it's, it's really, there is yeah. a, a cause and effect there. Pretty, you know, I impactful and immediate. Um, yeah. and, you know, and that stuff builds up over time too. So, the, you know, it's kind of a great thing. It's like the better I eat, I'm just building on it. I'm, I'm better every day and mentally I'm going to be better in a better mood. And it just it has such a ripple effect, it puts other people in good mood then there you know, right then that then that's um more things can come out of it i've also seen that more opportunities happen like that in life if you have yeah. that attitude yeah you when know? you're you're living in the flow things yeah. start to crumble your direction i i'm a big believer in karma i didn't used to be in fact i've made fun of karma for years but i'm <laughs> now a big believer in karma i think it's the way the world works it's not a religious sure. thing it's the way things work um, this is the, here's, here's something that happened to me. We're almost out of time. So I have to tell you this. Yeah. Um, a few years ago I was working on my cartoon strip and a scene from a story popped in my head and I, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. I had no idea where it came from. I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. So I just jotted it down. And if day or two later, the next scene came into my head and I went, Oh shit. Yeah. Then this, then this. And I started writing it out and I thought, damn, this is a story. Where's this coming from? Because I didn't have a story in my head. I had no desire to write a story. Wow. It just started coming to me. It was the most amazing thing. Wow. I was in my, I was in my uh, late 50s. This had, this had never happened to me before. Wow. I mean, I've always been an artist. I've had images come to me and I paint them or draw them or whatever. So I'm used to that. But here came this story. And um, anyway, awesome. so I started writing it down. And I thought, shit, this could be a graphic novel. And I thought, that seems like a lot of work. I don't really want to write a graphic novel. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of, it's a lot of work. That's like writing a book and then drawing a picture of every paragraph. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's exactly what a graphic novel is. It's, it's like is. storyboarding a movie that will probably never be filmed. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, oh, anyway, man. so I ignored it, but I kept, but it kept coming to me and I ignored it and it kept coming to me. So then eventually I just sat down and I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to write this story. So I wrote, 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 wrote. And every single day, it surprised me where it went. And at the end of the day, I'd go up to the roof with my wife for a cocktail and, and marijuana. <laughs> and, we, and I would say, I can't, you can't believe where the story went today. 
let me tell you about it. You know, and I would tell her what scenes I wrote that day. Oh, and it was, yeah. it was just a, an amazing experience. That I, That's awesome. That I, and so I started and, and then I just thought, I, I, eventually I got to the end of it and I like this thing went on and on and on. It's a very long story. And I, I don't know. I'm going to just going to write until it ends. And then eventually it ended itself. It found, it found its ending. And honestly, I, I typed this book, but I didn't write it. I made choices along the way, but the story was coming to me and I wow. decided like, what would be the best way to do this or what, you know, but, uh, and then I realized this is the same thing that's been happening to certain pieces of art and paintings and cartoons. There are certain ones that I, that I make happen and there are certain ones that happen. They come to me and it completely, because I was a die hard atheist when this happened to me, I thought there's nothing beyond this. I had, I'd been religious as a kid. I'd explored this, I'd explored that, but I really had come to this thing that, okay, so, I'm some kind of a biological accident. And for some reason I can draw really good. And for some reason I have funny ideas. And sometimes I write stories, I guess, I don't know, but this <laughs> thing changed my mind. This is like, this came from somewhere Wow. with a purpose and an intent and a structure that I did not have in me. This did not wow. come from me and I'm convinced of it anyway. So I started illustrating it and posting it online for free purely for donations. Anybody can read it. The problem with it is it's a very long story and it's taken me a long time to illustrate it. So like every two weeks I'll post what ends up being about 45 seconds of conversation <laughs> <laughs> or being filmed, you know, it'd be like, it's, it's literally like trying to animate something, you know, it takes forever to draw it. But anyway, it's called peyote cowboy. That's the yes. name of the story. Peyote cowboy. And it's, there's a cowboy who happens to eat some peyote and some stuff happens. Um, oh my anyway, God. but it, and it's, peyotecowboy.net, not .com. That's actually somebody who grows peyote or something. But peyotecowboy.net. <laughs> I know, I couldn't get peyotecowboy.com, which is, breaks my heart. But anyway, peyotecowboy.net <laughs> is where you'll find it. And it's, uh, if you like the story and you want, but anyway, the, the, I, I've, I've, I've posted like 40 something episodes now, which is really only about like less than 10% of the story. I'm not wow. kidding. It's, so there's it's a still lot to go. Story. Yeah. Wow. There is, it'll take me probably five years to illustrate this book. And then after it's done, I'll, I will probably print it. I mean, if, if a publisher wants to print it, 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 either in a series or in one big book, fine, that's cool. And, and we'll try to sell it. I'll see if I make any money. But for now, it's completely just the gift economy. Like this story came to me as a gift. So I'm passing it on as a gift. And if wow. people are enjoying it, and some people are, then toss me some money through Patreon. At the bottom of my, every page, there's a link. You can see a little video of me explaining how I wrote it and why I, anyway, why it was important to me. Um, That's awesome. But anyway, I think it's, I, anyways, it's been, it's been really cool. And it's enabled me to use a lot of elaborate art that I can't really do so much in Bizarro because of the tiny sure. format. So I'm like going crazy with the art and, 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 and also the guy's on a, I mean, the guy is, per, I mean, perhaps he's on a peyote trip. You don't really, that's the cool thing about the story is you really don't know. Ooh, I like that. You don't yeah. know what's, you don't know what's happening, but this guy has clearly stepped into what seems to be a typical town in the old West, but things don't work there the way they do the way they should. And so he, anyway, like it's magical realism is basically the style of it. Have you anyway, done peyote in, in real life? Have you ever tried it? I did some peyote. I did some peyote once. I've experimented a little bit with psychedelics in, in sort of, well, I'll tell you when I was younger, I, I, I experimented not a lot. I'm not a huge drug taker, but I'm a big advocate of plant medicine and, and natural psychedelics. Got it. Yeah, um, me too. Me too. Yeah. And they could be super beneficial. They're not as dangerous as, as we were led to believe that. Hundred percent. Like government propaganda in the old days, yeah. yeah. And so um, I'm a big advocate of marijuana. Uh, Me too. <laughs> daily use is God's gift to mankind. It's, I would it's, say every time you were talking about sitting on a roof smoking a joint, I thought, oh, how great would it be if I could go smoke a joint with you on a roof somewhere and talk about this shit? Are you kidding? You'd be me? welcome to. And I grow my own, so it's my own. It's my oh, own. Oh man. Friends.